So you might be in a situation where for some reason your photos and your videos are downloading at a low resolution or they're not at high quality compared to your you know, standard Android phone on your Android device. Now doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over into your particular settings of your iPhone or your Android. So you want to make your way over to your settings application and all you're going to want to do is you just want to make sure your Android device is on a good Wi-Fi connection. As long as it's on a decent Wi-Fi connection with decent speeds and different things like that, you should be good to go. Or your Android phone is on a good cell connection. Either one, you just want to make sure that your, you know, your information, your data, everything like that is good on your Android device because if it's not, it's going to cause some problems. So double check that and make sure your internet connection is good on your device. Now, if that doesn't seem to be an issue, the other thing you may want to try doing is that that application that you're using to download, you know, this you know, content that you're downloading from, your photos, your videos, whatever, all you're going to want to do is you just want to make sure that you're able to download that particular content at a good speed and make sure you're able to download it by clicking into that photo and downloading it that way. Sometimes if you hold down on a photo and download it, that might not be the best way. If you screenshot it and then crop down the screenshot, that won't be a good idea either. So keep those things in mind. And this in and of itself is another big thing to keep in mind here too. You may also sometimes need to go ahead and have that person send you the photo again or the video again. Sometimes they may have sent it in a bad resolution and you received it in a bad resolution. So you may want to go and have them just double check, just send it to you. And that might be another thing you can try doing to fix this problem. If that still doesn't seem to, fi you know, to fix it, the other thing you can try doing on top of those things is to actually go through and try updating your Android device. So make your way over into your settings application right here. Scroll down until you see your system update panel right here. Scroll down again until you see system update and go and see if you have an update available. And if you do, try updating your Android phone. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.